Boom! What is up, Wanderers? It's great to see you today. We are talking about some amazing ways that you can control your cable clutter. <laughs> so control your cable clutter. That's a tongue twister and really risky for one take uh, videos like this. All right. So um, if you're like me and you have a tech focused everyday carry, then you also have a lot of cords, a lot of dongles, a lot of just extra doodads and widgets and you know, I've got to do something with this, and I've got to do something with this, and I've got my gaming device, and it needs this micro USB, and I need USB-C and lightning and et cetera, et cetera. You get it. So all of us with our modern life are carrying quite a bit of devices. We've got some extra cords. Sometimes we've got battery backups, etc. So how do you control the chaos? Well, I brought a couple of solutions for you tonight that I want to run through. Maybe one of these will be perfect for you. All right, so let's get started. So the first one I wanted to propose is a grid. This is the grid it um, from Cocoon and Cocoon makes grid it accessories. This one has a, it's a big panel. It's got a pocket on the back and you just drop this kind of into any bag. Um, and easily enough, you just slap a cord in here like so you know toss a dongle in there and you can toss pins in here and just drop it into your bag now the interesting thing about this one is that you can also because it's resizable put your power brick in there you can do kind of anything you want with a cocoon pad so that's one potential solution for what you can do with your cords. I like it because it's pretty minimal and it will fit into kind of a tablet sleeve of most backpacks. All right, solution number one. Solution number two, get yourself a dock kit, okay? Now you can get a purpose-built tech dock kit. That's what this is. You can see this one has a zippered pocket. It has a couple of stretchy mesh pouches. It has zippered pockets and then four stretchy mesh, mesh pouches on that side um, and it is really nice cool kind of colorway here with the bright orange interior so this one's really nice you also can use a toiletry dock kit there's no bag police they're not going to come and take you away because you turned a toiletry dock kit into a tech dock kit this one i purchased off amazon it's eerily similar to the uh, dock kit from the toiletry bag from Nomadic, but significantly cheaper, right? So if you're just gonna toss some cords in here, you've got one, two pockets, third pocket, a fourth pocket. Um, not, you know, specific, this cord goes in this place ability, but lots of pockets and a fairly small form factor. So option number two, tech dock kit or regular toiletry dock kit. Option number three, EDC pouches, all right? I brought my favorite EDC pouch brand here, Viperade, um, fairly cheap on Amazon. Um, this is my favorite bag that they make. This one is in gray. It's got pocket, 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 pocket. So five pockets on the front, Molly straps, pocket on the back, and a zippered pocket in the middle. So this one can handle you know, a, bat, a small battery backup into the back section here. Um, it can handle all your cords just slipped into it, these individual pouches. You can toss the dongles into pouches as well. Um, so it's a, a cool option for you. You could also go with something that is a little bit more purpose made for the task um, and slip your cords into one of these. And this one has kind of attachment points for putting into onto uh, Molly or PAL webbing, or you can just load it up and drop it into a bag, either or. So that's option number three. You can get an EDC carrier and use it for your tech, right? So that's a couple of good options. The next one that I wanted to share with you is go to your favorite maker and look at what solution they provide. So my favorite maker, those of you who watch this channel a lot will, will know is Green Room 136. 
all right? And so these are some of the bags that they make, these little kind of knick-knack bags that they sell. Look at this one. It's got a roll-out cord keeper, and you just roll it back up, toss it in the bag, and this is the one I use most frequently for my tech. Toss everything in that bag, zip it up, and toss it down into a backpack and just pull it right back out when I need it. All these bags have tabs, and you can kind of use them for anything. Love these bags, and they're really not that expensive. Link to all of these products, of course, as always in the video description. The next thing I wanted to share with you is you can go find a purpose-built cord organizer. So this is uh, my favorite brand of cord organizer. Um, I don't know how you say it, but it's Bubum, B-U-B-M, um, and I've had quite a few organizers from them. This is my largest that I have. This one has a slip-in pocket that's actually big enough for an iPad mini, two stretchy pockets, and a million and a half cord pockets. This one is a little bit smaller. It just has a million and a half cord pockets. You can put obviously pins and stuff in there as well, um, but designed for cords. And if you just toss cords in there, very slim, barely any size or weight to this thing when fully loaded up. The last option I wanted to share with you is pencil cases. If you wanna go even smaller than a tech dot kit, you can get a pencil case, okay? This pencil case has um, a pocket on the front and then a divided compartment on the inside. This one's a little bit larger and it's got one big pocket. Both of these are super cheap and super small and can fit into water bottle holders, internal or external, um, or just dropped into the main compartment of a bag. So, you'll have to let me know in the comments, how do you wrangle your cords? What do you think is the best solution? And what do you go to most frequently? All right, love to hear your thoughts. If you are new here, please like the video and subscribe. We'd love to have you back. Um, and uh, we'll keep looking at great bags together, bags for inside of your bags, backpacks, and everything. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it was useful for you. We'll talk soon. Bye for now.